This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Rise Bahamas, Scotia Bank, and Tropical Gyros. Hey, you got to lock in another two uh, Talking Heads. The Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Heads is on and popping your boy Naughty and your company right up until 5 p.m. And uh, like I say, it is a Wednesday, so you know it's open lines. We're going to open them up for you. You know how we do it. You know how to get it in. 323-6232, 325-4316, Phone lines are open. It is open line Wednesday. Text lines powered by BTC, 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. All right? Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go. GuardianTalkRadio.com. That's GuardianTalkRadio.com. BTC channel, 612. That's the Flow channel. Cable Bahamas, 969. You know how to get it in? You know how to get it on. Now, y'all texting me in? Calm yourself down. I get to the text. I get to the trivia when I get to the trivia. Calm yourself. Down. Know your role. Slow your role. Yeah, I got. I got my hot cross buns. I saw it. Thank you very much. All right. So let's get your trivia out of the way, and then we're gonna chop it up. We'll get into the headliners. Who are us making headlines in the two four two? All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. And we'll slide into the buzz. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. But before we get to that, like I say, we will uh, check out your trivia, your mind-bending brain teaser, plan for jokers while party passes, Dunkin' Donuts coupons, KFC coupons, all right, fully loaded. Get part of that, uh, you know, KFC $5 genius menu. And I got your, I got your Dunkin' hookup, coffee and donuts on me, that's what I'm talking about. All right, caller, I see you, I'll get to you in one second. 
Sparky, I, I, if that's you, I, I, I ain't got you sorted, man. My God. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's what we're working with today. Now, I, I, some of y'all was Googling long and wrong yesterday, boy. I tell you. See if y'all get it right today. All right, all right, all right. It's a good one. All right. Okay. This is good. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian women between the ages of 21 and 50. Survey revealed that 48% said that they wish they didn't have to go through this while shopping, like in the food store. What is it that 48% of Bahamian women don't want to go through when they go shopping at the food store? What is it? That's your mind-bending brain teaser. You got between now and the top of the news and the 5 o'clock hour to get your answers in. While you work on that, let me check the phone lines. I'm going to jump into the headliners. Who are what's making headlines in the 242? Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, nobody. How you doing, my brother? Hey, what's going on, Double J? I'm always good, man. You've been a bit last, last week, but I'm... Um, hey, so I'm Virginia. Right here. Hey, buddy, ask me for you on, on Southwell Park. My name is Nordy. I love you coming. Little man was in Orlando playing baseball, man. Perfect game with Elite Sports Academy. So, you know, I had to go make sure he was solid. We got to go support yeah, him yeah, doing thing. And those youngsters, because they're doing a great job with that program. And those kids played awesome. All of them. Mm-hmm. Great yeah, job. That's it. But, um, they ain't playing the softball till after the rooster, nothing. Right. After the rooster, but the, the day they're still ain't coming on. And who have in charge that day, though? The BTC? Who have in charge me to fire that person? Now, JJ, I, get fired. I, I made a, a couple of inquiries, and uh, apparently that's going to be addressed, and that, that should be back up in short order. So I'm hearing, and that's of, of, as of, of late last week. But as you tell me today, it's still nothing been done, correct? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, one more thing before I go. I ain't trying to be no pride, none, but um, now that you know, I might be in by a, a, a certain uh, government ministry that they, they check out on, on the, to, to acquire on some things. Uh-huh. The lady come on the phone, and you know, it's been no ice group from zero to ten five. Man, and when I reached there, man, the young lady named Miss Vanessa Miller from NIB, all the beautiful, sexy girls in there, man, they may be, I had my mother's buddy, they call me right down, and right now, the more I got to try to, not to treat, but I, I, can, I, I, I apologize for them, because they treat me like a real baby, man. You know, some, some civil servants got some spec personality, but some of them, they need to get out of the service, man. You know what I mean? And I went there, and, and they made me so happy, and made me proud to be baby, man. The NIB and, and, and Water and Sewage Corporation, I just wish the rest of the people give me that, man. You know what I mean, Audi? But anyhow, thanks for my call. And, and, and you know what I like, JJ? You know what I like? Uh, you rat them up when you need to rat them up, but you also give credit where credit is due. So I appreciate your fairness and your objectivity, man. Okay, thank you, my brother. All right, I can try to get that park situation rectified for you, man. I, I, might, please, I, I man, might have to please. rattle some cages. We will please, please. Sewers will be able to do The sewers are in the whole way. We need to fix that, man. That's the best park in the, in the, in the Bahamas. All right. But we get on okay. that, man, I appreciate you. All right, be safe. All right, let's get to the headliners. Who are what's making headlines? I- I'm scanning some of these texts right now, and uh, nope, it's not that they don't want to play the bill. Lifting bags, pushing trolley, touching raw meat, no. Sanitizing hands, no. Um, not sanitizing, no, nope, none of that. Norley with Bahamas Ferry did him. They said they got freight 8 to 4. Get there 130 to be told they can't take my box. I'm sick of poor service. Well, you, did you, I hope you call that corporate office too and let them know. Dealing with children, no, waiting. Women hate shopping with men. Do you ever know men, some men may hate shopping with women? Do you ever think of that? <laughs> some men might think that is torture. All right, well, I got to address some of these on the break. You're already firing off on these, on these questions. All right, let's check out the headliners. Who else making headlines in the 242? All budget, of course, by Fine Threads. New arrivals in stock right now. Be sure to check them out online, finethreads.com, or pop on in, Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, the flagship store, or the Southwest Shopping Plaza location. Both of those locations open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday to take good care of you, all right? And looking at uh, the Nassau Guardian News and Beers in Madison's 1844, blazing up the pages. Big headline today, take a stand to protect livelihood 
Atlanta's chief urges workers to voice concerns on RCI project. Troy by Candia Dings, executive editor. And uh, president and managing director of Atlanta's Audrey Oswell yesterday urged uh, resort employees to take a stand in relation to Royal Caribbean International's RCI's proposal for a $100 million beach club at the western end of Paradise Island. Obviously familiar to this show. That's Toby's vibe. <laughs> But I'm glad to see the, the unity coming together over there on Paradise Island because if Atlantis and all the other resorts on that uh, strip and on that island had to go through all the surveys and impact, environmental impact surveys and so on they had to go through, then RCI must go through that as well. It can't be just break ground and build. If they're coming in, they're the new neighbor on the block, they need to at least meet the, the neighbors and the, the homeowners association, so to speak, so they could find out which... Going on, you all got to be able to get along in this thing. Your product needs to do well. My product needs to do well. We all need to do well. The Bahamas needs to do well. Bahamians who are vested in it need to do well. Let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty. Hey, what's going on? Hey, then cool, Papa here. What's going on, Papa? Man, thank God for life. Long man. time, man. All is well with you and yours? Yeah, man. Thank God to be able to call into the show. You know, it's been like months now. Y'all, it was a little problem that the phone line wasn't letting no nobody who mm-hmm. have any phone number different from BTC. Now, now they letting everybody come. Well, you know, you got to make sure I, I want to hear from everybody, man. You yeah, know what I, I mean? know you get. I know you you miss her and so you can voice them and stuff <laughs> like that. But I just <laughs> call you to tell you you still doing a good job. You still doing a good job. That, the, the same thing you read in the paper just now. I was gonna call you to ask you, would you think the lady maybe you could get her on an v- interview, maybe get her to call in next week sometime to break it down? I Papa, that that is already that uh, already that is already in the works. I already reached out, so I'm just waiting to confirm which day somebody from Atlantis will be able to to, to join me on the show. I would like to really chop it up from her, but I think she's strong with what she's saying. I really want to know what is she saying that she want the staff to do. I hear she say that's their livelihood. I well, really want to know like how it's going to affect them. Basically, I, you know, get vocal. Reach yeah. out to your to your parliamentarians and your, your your MPs and say, hey, I work at the Atlantis. I have a vested interest there. I've been there 15 years. I've been there 20 years. It's I've been there like 25. The government already made up their mind. They already uh, final yet. Well, obviously a deal going to go down, Papa. We, we all know that, all right? But my whole situation is get it done correctly. Like I was saying before, that everybody who's vested in this tourism product People like Toby, uh, Toby, like Toby, like Atlantis, yeah. like 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 uh, Peter Mori with the with the marinas and 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 the hurricane hole situation over there with Margaritaville, and you have uh, other, you know, you got Club Landor over there, you got uh, the reuse, the environment, you got people, the, you, you got to make the, sure the, they stay stay okay with it. Correct, and like all of those properties had to go through some sort of environment environmental impact survey, especially the Atlantis. Well, I don't for, think for, RCI, I mean, I don't think... Well, they, they need to go... No, no, no. no what, what, different treatment. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. You can't just break ground. You need to go through that. And we Bahamians need to know what's really going on because at the end of the day, that's our Paradise Island. For real, for real. So I salute what she's saying. I just want to hear more. I wish she could, like, not dominate down, but break it down more. So even us who don't wait to Atlantis could understand what it really but is. But I... I think what she's trying to do is rally the troops, uh, you know, to, to be vocal well, about it. Rally, brother, because from Toby Smith, we, we, we don't like that. We don't like that. And Toby bit. was on, on the show recently, and, you know, he expressed his, he expressed his same concerns. And, and, and he welcomed, we, we appreciate him, man. He's one of us. Toby, Toby, say just what he is. And Toby ready for Bahamas to invest, and we'll be a part of the company when, when Toby get this fully set up, and the government only would do what they supposed to do. I won't try the quiz. I, I could be wrong, and it doesn't matter, but um, I believe... Majority of them, the women, they don't like when they don't have enough money to buy what they have to when they reach the cash register. I think that's one of the things, but it mightn't be the answer for you today. No, that that might not die, die in the right one today, Paul, but I said it's a little different one. But you keep up the good work there, Naughty. Mm-hmm. I love what you're doing, oh, Naughty. And back at you, I'm glad to hear from you, brother. Don't be no stranger no more. Don't let it be no couple of months, man. When you call, let them know it's, it's, it's the poor part. I'm going to be Jones in the call in, boy. Man, man you know you ain't, got, you ain't got a Jones. It's all good, man. Holla at yeah. you, boy. You know it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, God God to God to God. All right, bro. You, still, you too, my brother. Be safe. All the best to you and your fam. Always good to hear from Papa, man. Papa is a long-time contributor. And, and, and Papa, you know, Papa, bring it real. I appreciate that. Um, let's check out uh, some other uh, headlines. Chinese offer to upgrade a rundown national stadium. Well, um, Mr. Producer, who, 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 who built a rundown national stadium? I'm just trying to remember. Who did build that one? Who did build that one? 
Somebody call me and remind me who built the last stadium players or who donated that and, and how it built. Because I remember I was seeing some Chinese nationals in Farringdon Road on trackers, wondering what the hell you're doing in Farringdon Road on trackers. How you know about that? And I know you on a tracker, you ain't one of my Bahamian Chinese, like the shares them, you know what I mean? And the Chia Tows, yeah, man. And the Wongs, gotta pick up the Wong Massive. We know who they are, they're spot us. So, yeah, remind me, refresh me, the least y'all can do is rebuild your things, eh? Let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, turn, turn, turn the volume down for me in the background, man. <clears throat> Who we got today? Buddy. Hey. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? It's Hey, Dave. Listen to Have Dave. You? Mom, good, Dave. Walk that tightrope, Dave. No, no, I can be able to but not on, on the real, right? Well, Dave, I was trying, but you know, the producer got mandates. It wasn't me, my brother. It wasn't me. And you should have left Dave on long enough for me to ask why the war room is be busy and how the phone lines when they run out when they talk with something they don't like. Anywho, we got another call there, Mr. Producer. All right, Talking Heads, going in Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Well, listen, Naughty. Hey, hold on one second, Grab. Hey, hold on one second, Grab. Oh, Lord. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Producer, let the boss know, man. I was only going, hey, it's, I was only waiting for you to drop it. I, hey, I could entertain it. I mean, come on, man. That wasn't me, Dave. Wasn't me. What's happening, Graham? Naughty. I hope I don't get on the sweet list. No, man. You know who, you know who all on there, and I call their name. <laughs> Quick question for you. And maybe we call it a trivia for today. Someone could call in. I don't care if you're yellow, red, or that other party in what year and month did the 6,000 people that came to build the Bahama leave the Commonwealth of the Bahamas because I heard the plane at 3 in the morning waking me up but how many was on it 6,000 people came on multiple flights. In what year and month did they go? All right. Write it down, because I bet you nobody will call you. I I'm still want to know. I want somebody to call and remind me who built the rundown stadium, the rundown national stadium. Yeah, but the thing is, right, you don't give, you didn't, when you were dating your significant other, you did not take flowers and chocolates for free. I said stadium not free. <laughs> what do you want in exchange? What did they get? That's another trivia. What did we give away for the stadium? But I want to know, first trivia for the day, we get to that tomorrow. In what year and month did the 6,000 people leave that built the Harm Hotel out west? That's another or are good they one. still here? They still here? Sound like you got the answer to that trivia, man. If you're going to put a trivia out, you must have the answer. Hey, Grant. I always get answers before I ask questions. Well, what's your answer then? No. You call the minister under yellow and red of immigration and have him call the show or any of his representatives. And I don't care which party color because I am a party. I about the problem. Six up. All right. Talking as Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, uh, Naughty. Hey. It's the GNN. Ghetto News Network. Let's get on. The, get, the Ghetto News Network. Listen. Only the Chinese could build hospital in three days, a full-fledged hospital in three days. So, you still ain't telling me to help me, man, who remind me who built that, 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 that quote-unquote, and I run the national stadium. That's why I try to that's, remember. That's, that's that. only, only, only the Chinese could do it. They should have built it right in the first place. Aye. And we know they was kind of keep coming, 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 but see, that's that's the move they will make on, on our politicians. Right. Every so year or two, they got to come, pick can, up, and they drop one or two off. We can make you look good, man. Hey, you know, exactly. we, we need a new stadium. We fix up stadium. Yeah. But, Naughty, I got two concerns, man, serious concerns. One, I'm a dialysis patient, right? Okay. And I ain't going to tell you no lie. They in the apartment, people blood, people lives depending on the machine, Mr. Minister. Those machines, so old, some of them machines over 20 years old. I don't know where the new set gone, what was donated the other day. They two, must be out of eight machines, six gone missing. Those nurses fighting with those machines, 
blood was all on the ground today on my machine. Machine popping open and stuff like that. No, so man. People's lives depend on them things, Naughty. And the Ministry of Health, them ain't doing nothing for that dialysis unit. The born on date on some of those machines uh, or the expiration date done gone for 20 times. I have real problem with that. People's lives, I watch some of my friends die on those machines because those machines ain't functioning, Naughty, properly. I, 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 am here, I, am here, I am here shocked to hear you say I tell that it your you. machine was not clean and properly disinfected for reusage within the standards of, of, of obviously, you know, the, the, the dialysis unit. No, but not even since we're talking about the Chinese, right? Anytime your car tires or your car reaches certain mileage or your tires, you got to change them. Those machines in there, they, 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 some of them almost 30 years old, man. My Almost God. Said, they got one machine and they're naughty. You think the ambulance is fake, right? Every two seconds you put somebody in. Beep, 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 they say I'm running. I tell them they can lose me. My but God. the other thing that concerns me, the American embassy say they could be finished in an, roughly another 12 months, right? They take three years to build that embassy up and down, 10 stories down, 10 stories up, and God knows whatever else, right? Do you realize that accident and emergency naughty started before the American embassy was building? An accident and emergency ain't finished yet, and they've been through five different contractors. Accident and emergency is an accident and emergency waiting to happen. <laughs> but naughty, naughty, something got to be wrong with that. Man, they listen. Going through five contractors and act a little accident and emergency, and the American embassy done finished. I noticed that. I noticed that. But look who was building it. And look who was building the embassy. So what would you try to say, buddy? I, I just say it. You heard the man on the news. You heard, you, you heard the gentleman from uh, the embassy today. And I don't want to say his name incorrectly, but I know it, it sounds like Zuckerberg, but I don't want to say like like affiliated with the yeah. Facebook, but you know. Yeah. And I apologize for, for not catching his name totally, but uh, he was in the capacity to speak, and he said they had the right personnel on the ground, the ready to... They got to stop even behaving people's money, Naughty. Who? Naughty, they got to stop, man, Naughty, man. They got a security company there. They, them niggas were getting triple chip. They even didn't get enough security to cover the doors with her. Anyway, go ah, on. Ah, but with no public procurement act, how can we find out, my brother? <laughs> The plot yeah, thickens in all ways. You be safe, man, all right? And continue yeah, to do man. well. All right, bro, bless up. Talking heads, go out in radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, Naughty, I, I, I hate the call back. You know, stop or ace, my boy. You know, he's a lot. He has socks and slash Genesis. Let me tell you something, Naughty. See, I, I, I'm in the construction business, my brother. I work with the Americans, the Canadians. They pretty much be out of breath in the world. Naughty, our problem is the bunch of weeks of excitement. When they design that road, when we spend all that money on uh, when Papa going with $100 million a whole run, they ain't even design the road so people can park on the side. Um, I mean, if you get a flat tire. We spend all about blowing horns on. See, my car is short. I ain't going to make it. I know. But see, our people don't, don't know the right thing. But, 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 but. See, this country needs to be fixed, Naughty. I remember no Chinese, man, Filipinos, man. everybody in this country. They can't be this way, can People come to England and this. The Indian people, I thought the mention this, you know, I can do block, brown, and finish. Drywall, poor floor, everything. Put up studs, shingle roof, put up door frames. They need to be really good. You see, and all the guys and all the people who, who work for the ministry, they, they, they're the lousy people, man. They know they right, say something. Say something. The Chinese had them steal in and grab them up two years. They get corroded. After a while, they steal the swell up. Huh? Ah. That steal is what they build with cable, man. They had like, to hold that bill. Cable, concrete is a span. But see, when you get a lot of big people, you know, see how people, our civil servants know they get paid and they get cut. But they start cutting people and start firing some of them, then they can start doing the work, you know. Uh, hey, naughty, but I don't want to fire nobody. But you know, the civil servants just bring out and need, need to go home, you know. It might, be, it, 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 it might be a bloated, bloated situation there. Yeah. Some of them may need to be retired. It's a cold, hard fact, but that might be the case in order for the nation to become better. Uh, all right, let me check some of these texts. Uh, Naughty, RCI done pay to build the break ground and build. Tell to be sorry. Yeah, but the government's environmental agency has nothing from RCI to date, so whoa, 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 whoa. Naughty, I agree. Atlanta staff should say something that jobs may be threatened in the long term. 
Naughty, the Chinese know they donated the Shanty Stadium. Now they want something else to repair that piece of garbage. Surprise, it ain't collapsed by now. Naughty, the petroleum dealers in a desperate situation. We will feel the prices at the pumps. You asking me or you telling me? Because I know we can feel it. We can get Snap City at the pumps. Naughty, you say that's RPI, but there's no access to RPI Beach. Agreed. We got to talk to them about that, too. All right, let's take one more call, and then we'll get to the break. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Well, you're not allowed to be me. Yeah, but make it quick before you go to the break, Bucking Mouse Sparky. What's going on? Yeah, but you know, I wonder sometimes when these things pop up on us all the time. Over and repeatedly, these things pop up. But you, you think the, the, the stadium will soon be like the post office when the cement starts dropping down around people walking in to, to go, go take get their posts and things? You, 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 you know, you ever see the size of the how high, high that is? You've got to be out on the line trying to get in, pay your car license and everything. And all of a sudden, when pieces of men drop in your head, you know how dangerous them foolishness is? Ah, you see some of those things poking out, uh, poking out these you know long, buddy, You know how long ago I've been telling people the place was starting to crack up? This ain't just happened, you know. No. That been place been starting to crack up years ago. That so started the crack when they put it up the first time. From that time that I saw you and we bent down there to watch that football game. Correct, Mundo. I, I, I remember telling you, I, I remember telling you, look, Naughty, this place started to crack already. That was years ago. I don't know, understand why we're just talking about it now. But we don't maintain nothing. We, all the buildings we build in here, especially if we build in government building or anything what government could be with, they always build a break up, break down for another couple of years so somebody else could get another contract. You think, let me tell you something, you see the American, um, like that's the, the American um, 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 ambassador stadium they build in there on base, East Street North? <laughs> I bet you that'll be, uh, that'll be out there till George Washington come back to D.C. I bet you that ain't going to break down in no five years. All no. that building around that um, embassy down there on Shirley Street are crumbling everything before that, that, that break down. Because them people can build that there forever. They build in the biggest number of embassy in the Bahamas. For what reason? Right in the middle of Bay Street, right next to our courthouse, right next to our, our, our house of assembly. You all realize how strategically they're building that, that thing? The house of assembly, the new house of assembly, when they plan it out, supposed to be right next door, right? Right. The Supreme Court, right across the road, right? you can walk from the embassy to the, to the Supreme Court. Now they bring it closer. And right next door to the government house, why do you think they're putting their embassy right in the middle of downtown Bay Street? So they can keep an eye on everything. No, because they're that big just, Chinese embassy right up there on East Bay Street. Sure on East Bay Street. Chinese right up there by Montague. Chinese like That's oh, what I meant. Chinese like oh, they all, they going over there. They, they like this. Gone, but, gone to the break, Sparky. You, you running right out now. Okay. Have a good one, Bucket. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Sparky. Yes, Sparky. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the, uh... Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. And yes, we have a winner. The answer was getting hit on by the opposite sex in the food store while they shop. You know, just be hitting on them. They don't be for that. That's what 48% said. And we got a winner. All right, we'll pick it up on the flip side of the break. All right, there's a wrap on your headliners. Brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads and The Buzz. Brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. On the flip side of the break, we'll pick up the, the global warming. We're seeking up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And we'll continue to open lines on my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. All right? As the uh, Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Hazelnut meets mocha with the new Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha Signature Latte. Savor the delicious coffee combination of smooth, rich espresso with silky chocolate and toasted hazelnut flavors. All topped with whipped cream, decadent mocha drizzle, and hot chocolate powder. Available hot or iced, the Dunkin' Mocha Latte is the perfect pick-me-up at any time of day. So why wait? Head to your favorite Dunkin' and enjoy the Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha taste sensation today. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Center of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and they set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. 
I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Every Thursday until April 6th, between 5 and 6 p.m., is Come Gold With Us Thursdays. Take a photo or video wearing your Carifta merchandise and cheer on our Carifta athletes. Follow us and like our Facebook page, 50 at Carifta 2023. Then keep a lookout for our team and get a chance to win a golden ticket and many, many more giveaways for the 50 at Carifta Games. For more details, email info at Carifta. 50.com or call 808 gold play with island games we making dreams come true play with island games we paying more out to you don't mind the noise in the market you get cash in your pocket Cause island games is spicy and spicy is tradition so when you play, play island games. we put in bohemian's voice guaranteed to pay we like them other jokers. We've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dreams come true. We play it with Island Games. Original or hot and spicy? Feeling original? Think twice. Here's some precise advice. Always add the spice. <laughs> Hey, that's great. Take your time, brother. I don't want you to run too far out with your spicy self. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mouth hard, but you still ain't got the right flavor. Listen, just like the colonel, I'm an original. You? You're a spicy come lately. You think so? Original. You could never. There's no winning flavor. They're all finger-licking good. Only at KFC Nassau. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. Time to get up into your global warming. We're seeing up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. And, of course, you know, it's all about original, man. It, it's all about the battle of, 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 of the flavors. Original or spicy. And I'll be honest with you, there's a battle between two giants. And nobody's really a loser. Whichever one you like, you actually win. But um, when it comes down to the ingredients and everything, we know the uh, original. It's the traditional the original is the foundation. Everything else is spawned off the original. So go to www.vote.kfcnassau.com and rock the vote for the original. And my boy Dasquay representing Spicy will be on the show tomorrow. We've got some great giveaways to give away for you. But, you know, you got to make sure I rock original. I ain't trying to give no Spicy double no. Eh. It's all about original. That's what I'm talking about. Vote.kfcnassau.com. And rock that vote for original. All right, we'll get up into the global warming. We're seeing up the planet in 60 seconds. The last caller, I see you coming to you right now. But uh, I do have to jump in, like I say, to the global warming. We're seeing up the planet in 60 seconds. The last all brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. All right, Finland became an official member of NATO yesterday. Jim Nance called his 32nd and final March Madness Championship game the other night. Nice that it was in his hometown of Houston. But while, he do- while he's done with basketball, he'll be calling the Masters starting tomorrow. He'll also remain under contract with CBS and will continue to be the lead play-by-play announcer for the NFL coverage alongside Tony Romo in addition to his golf duties. Eurythmics member Dave Stewart's daughter, Kaya, has quit American Idol. Florida, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis quietly signed a bill Monday that eliminates licensing requirements for Florida residents to carry a concealed firearm in most public places. Raquel Welch died of cardiac arrest and had Alzheimer's disease leading up to her death. This according to the autopsy. A survey finds Netflix is the uh, stream service that subscribers can't live without. It's also the most canceled. Hugh Jackman has posted a new video warning fans about the dangers of skin cancer and urging them to wear sunscreen. Disney is working on a live-action version of Mona and Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be a part of the cast. Justin Long and Kate Bosworth are engaged, but it came after the two of them had spoken to a therapist together. And that's a wrap right there on your global warming. We've seen up the planet in 60 seconds or less. All brought to you, of course, by KFC Nassau. Let me slide into my Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. And listen, don't forget, get the blue donuts all month long and a support Autism Awareness Month with Dunkin' Donuts. Rock the Blue Donuts, all right? Support Autism Awareness at your favorite Duncan location. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Bernie Road with the drive-thru, East Street South with the drive-thru, Carmichael, the newest location, and, of course, 
out of the airport pre-clearance and post-clearance. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan. Let's get to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? We got him or we lost him. All right. There they go. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hello. Uh, hey. Yeah, what's going on, Naughty? Hey, what's happening, 52? What's good? Uh, apparently, boy, well, I don't know. You better tell me, uh, but the thing is, Naughty, I'm afraid that, uh, I, you know, I was moved by the text who text about the beaches, right? And so now they juxtapose that about what's really happening to the Bahamian people who are being pushed on the fringes and excommunicated in their own uh, society, right? So the beaches are being taken away. So this is, in, this is indicative of what is going on with the Bahamians. All of our rights are being taken away and our God-given rights in the country. Like, I, I swear, Naughty, they're taking... Listen to me, man. I listen to you. We see the civil liberties. And so I am so vexed with the situation with the beaches, right? Because I just looked at it, right? And I look at the little, in, the little inconspicuous ways in which they did it incrementally. Slowly just taking the beaches away from the people there. I'm so glad you brought this up because there's a gentleman who has a food truck. Uh, uh, some, uh, just, uh, but just on the north, si- north side of uh, Sapadilla when you make that curve. Correct. Right? And so uh, he was, somebody gave him some legal documents. So that's supposed to be an, an easement. And he was given documents that somebody owns that land, some particular company, some big name people them. But that's, 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 the, that's, that's an easement, and that's a coastal region. That's only rock and sea. And so I saw some literature in there about seawater mark, but I was wondering how... So, how 52, you mean to tell me for all them years he was on the, the right-hand side of the road on the water side? No, he's on the left if you're heading east. No, so but now, now he bought, he bought, I seen it. Is that so the he, one that's he, over he, on the left by the kids? Because the road, the road is meandering. Okay. So what I'm saying is this is an easement. But yesterday he was given documents and a Supreme Court thing to say he must appear and this, and this land is owned by people. But this is only like a, a narrow strip of land. It's the road to the left and then it's the road to the, to, to the east and, and, to the, and to the southeast. So that's how the road meanders. But what I'm saying is I, I didn't know the government could sell uh, the land. That's, that, that's, that, that, that's, that's no land. That's just, that's, that's just a basic little strip of piece of land. How could they? And, and, and I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, didn't, I, I, I have it in the, my phone. I'll go and read it. But... but this is just one of the things why freedom of the information is needed. I want to know, how could they sell this land? What, 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 this is nothing to sell. The people own, or, I mean, they own the whole strip. They own the whole beach and the rock and everything. And all of that naughty, this is what, this is what, I, this is what I read, but, you know, I'll reread it. I right. need to be a lawyer to understand what they're saying, because I see the, 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 the panoramic uh, uh, geographical photograph, aerial view then. You see what I'm saying? Right. But government departments is a substrate for corruption. We need the Freedom of the Information Act. The Freedom of the Information Act for a thinker like me is not when the administration uh, changed respectively five years, five years, and then we have access, access to say they did this when they was in power. We don't need that. We need Freedom of the Information Act now. What I see, I saw a picture with somebody, you know, who's been in your station. They have a picture with the immigration officer and Mr. Bell and a young lady in the background. It's circulating on WhatsApp. I was minding my business. <laughs> and the person looked so ecstatic, right? Mr. Luby George, right? I'm trying to find if he's talking with God, man. This nigga looks so happy. Like, this is a conflict of interest. How could, why would a picture of this be circulating? You know, uh, the thing is, right, we're not going to get anywhere with this immigration issue, you know. I'm telling you, the demon of the demon people are being kidnapped by politicians, okay? And predecessors and the present government. These people are doing us a grave injustice. And once the people don't come together, nothing is going to happen. They are laughing at us right now, all the way to the bank. These Correct. People, Listen, Naughty, this is obvious, you know. This, this meandering, this legal obfuscation, and this is obvious. That's freedom of information mark me now. I'm supposed to be able to go access immigration and see how much work permits, how much this and that. This is what freedom of information mark with anyone with the brains. But what, what, uh, uh, Naughty, you know something? Listen to me. We, all these conversations are futile, you know, Naughty. I'm telling you, we're being sold. These people, them doing us a grave injustice, man. I was wondering what was going on with the Shanty Town with Mr. Bean the other day. Nobody, somebody rushed there, one big time officer rushed there and stopped them from doing what they had to do and then just in the re So what, but what I'm saying is the other day it was a, a student in Stephen Dillard, a four year, grade four year old, a grade four student, caught with 45 bullets in his bag. Right, That's I heard about that. He, can do. he was of Haitian background. Now his parents saying they couldn't speak a word of English. But what, what, what people must realize, they can play, they, they don't speak English to their advantage. Right. They, they, they can speak English. A four year, a, a grade four student, naughty. You're supposed to know his every move, his itinerary. So you're trying to tell me now, you as a parent don't have no idea where he could have gotten these from? 
I agree. And at the All same time, right, you can sit back and lambast the human community, and we see selective justice even in the Lutra. Right? 52, you hitting plenty gone, nails man. on the head, man. So, uh, that's why. Like the human people, I'm joking. The government ain't joking, you know. We joke it, I'm a jokey leader. There you go. KJ is my boy. Tell KJ update that song. Love, love, love for KJ. Update that song. We joking. Yeah. We joking, man. We, we used to conk. We got to get it together. I fear you, 52. I fear you, man. But keep dropping, man. Eventually, we're going to get that tree to fall. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Flip side of the break, we'll be back with Cuban Release, Numerology Report, all brought to you, of course, by the Island Game, and we get you to the news. So keep it right where you got it. And call if I can get you in before the news, I'll get you, so hang tight. The ultimate sandwich experience starts with a bite of the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger and a flavor explosion of crispy, juicy, 100% premium white meat spicy filet, KFC barbecue sauce, lettuce, cheese, and smoky bacon on a toasted brioche bun. The perfect balance of heat and sweet. You won't be able to resist the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger. Made by the fried chicken sandwich experts, the KFC Barbecue Glaze Zinger is available for a limited time. Try one today. KFC, it's finger licking good. Yeah, Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey. For every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, Visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. People, what you thinking? We want something different. Uh-huh. People, what you wanting? We want up the government. Tell I can tell them no more slunking. We want the function. I can tell them no more jokes. Ha ha, I forgot. Going down Blue Hill Road. Going down Village Road. Going down Nassau Road. We want local government. We want local government. We want local government. Share the We want local government. We are called for local government. Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. On your mark. Set. Go for gold. It's your chance to cheer from here, Bahamas. Scotiabank is the regional banking partner for the 2023 Carifta Games. We invite everyone to come watch our young athletes perform at their best. Every Scotiabank MasterCard credit card holder gets fast track into the stadium. Just show your card with your ticket at the Southern Gate. Plus, check us in the Cultural Village at the Scotiabank kiosk where you can win amazing prizes. Scotiabank, proud sponsor of the 2023 Oak Tree Medical Center Carifta Games. Hazelnut meets mocha with the new Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha Signature Latte. Savor the delicious coffee combination of smooth, rich espresso with silky chocolate and toasted hazelnut flavors. All topped with whipped cream, decadent mocha drizzle, and hot chocolate powder. Available hot or iced, the Dunkin' Mocha Latte is the perfect pick-me-up at any time of day. So why wait? Head to your favorite Dunkin' and enjoy the Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha taste sensation today. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, Rise Bahamas, Scotia Bank, and Tropical Gyros. Uh, the Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Ads continues right now. We're into the 5 o'clock hour. Listen, um, Texas, a, a lot of y'all texted in right during the break, man, and, and some good stuff as well, too. I want you guys to hit me back, all right? Um, we can pick this conversation up tomorrow, all right? Especially my last two texts, all right? My last three, as a matter of fact. 
All right? But uh, like I said, we're talking sports right now. We're into the 5 o'clock hour. And like I said, we're going to set it off. we got to touch base with our, you know, with our big corporate sponsors. And I always like to touch base with our corporate sponsors and big sponsor of the show uh, this week for sure. And, and of course, Carifta in general uh, is Scotia Bank. And I have Miss Simone Hull, the marketing manager from Scotia, zooming in with me today. So how are you, Simone? What's going on? Welcome to the show. I am great. I'm great. I'm here in the Bahamas for the Carifta Games, and I'm excited. I've gone to the stadium. I'm seeing all the preparations, and I can't wait. Sounds like, this, uh, open. like you're fired up. It sounds like you're ready to go. Yes, yes, if I could run on the track, and I'm sure I would come first for social. Yeah, well, I'm sure <laughs> I'm, but unfortunately, with that accent, I'm here, and I got to check your background. I got to make sure if you don't have any credentials, you know, like if you wasn't, you know, an alternate to an Olympic squad or something, you know? No, Scotia will be putting overage runners then in, the, in the competition. I'm definitely overage. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. If we don't say overage on this show, we say vino, okay? Like wine, we get better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I, I can't say, I can't, I can't run you there. But yeah, uh, I'll be definitely a golden athlete at that point. There you go. And speaking of golden, Scotia is one of the, the golden sponsors making it happen, man. So let us know, you know what's that like for Scotia. Yes, so Scotia Bank is proud to partner with the Carift uh, organization um, to put forward the games here as part of the 50th anniversary of the Bahamas. We're very excited about it. We know the games is going to be fire. It's happening between the 8th and the 10th, and we're looking to see all our young athletes, you know, the ones who will be able to carry on the Caribbean tradition of being the best for track and field. And we are excited about um, being a corporate sponsor. Our goal sponsorship will allow us to do a number of exciting things that we can't wait to unveil at the, at the event itself. So it sounds like uh, you got to be there because some exciting things come in from yeah. Scotia. Yeah. Oh, well, guess what? One of the first things we're doing as a corporate sponsor, we are we have joined up with Scotia Bank um, and the Mastercard have teamed up to sponsor Carifta. And what we are deciding to do is allow our all our Scotia Bank Mastercard holders fast track entry into the stadium. So anybody out there listening and they are a Scotia Bank Mastercard credit card holder, nice. You don't need to wait. Time. You can have fast track entry right into the stadium. Just show your card. As well as your carrister ticket, you need a carrister ticket, and you can get the fast track entry, fast track lane right into the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. I like that because I, uh, I, I happen to have one of those cards you were referring to right here in my wallet, so that's 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 good. I like that. I like that. Uh, beautiful, stuff. beautiful. So you don't need to be in the sun. You don't need to be standing in the line. You can go and find your seat in the stadium very quickly and 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 enter, collect all your tokens right there too. We'll be giving fans. Entering the games, all the freebies that they can have a good experience in the stadium. So, your yes, thunder sticks to cheer on your favorite um, athlete as they go around the track. Uh, water bottles to keep yourself hydrated, hats to keep you out of the sun, and all of that is just free for distribution to fans who are attending the Carousel Games, courtesy of Scotia Bank. Once they, once stock lasts, once it's limited. So that's, up until stock that's, stock. that's right up my alley. I'm a collector, man. Whenever I go to events like this, I always collect from the sponsors. So I, I, I will have my bag. I, I will be collecting from Scotia. So don't watch nothing. Yeah, yeah. So you have your fans. We're giving away fans. We're giving away hats. We're giving away thunder sticks, water bottles. Once people can enter the games, um, through the we're going to be at the southern gate and at the eastern gate. So look out for us with our tents and our promotional persons there, letting you know that. Once you pass by our stadium, you can have an amazing fan experience. Excitement is a fever pitch, and as a sponsor, we definitely want people to know that they can. It's going to be a special character, 50th anniversary of the Bahamas Islands, and we want people to come out, support the young athletics um, talent that will be on show, and have a good experience while they're doing it. We're also going to be having a fan booth in the cultural village. That's where they're going to be selling foods, and we'll have a lot of games and trivia and giveaways there as well. We just want the whole experience to be something that's fun, that's memorable and exciting so that all the youngsters will remember the 50th anniversary of the Bahamas and when they went to the Carifta game. Well, I think, you know, Scotia has been a big part of our 50 years, so we're glad to have you on board. An awesome job which you got, which you're doing sponsoring and, of course, with all the giveaways. So we're looking forward to having an awesome event and Scotia yeah. being a huge part of it. Yes, yes, yes. We're looking forward to joining up with all the um, all the different sponsors and the organizers of the Carifta game. I'm seeing games. I'm seeing the entire 
preparation going on at the stadium. I went there yesterday, and I mean, I can tell you that the organizing committee, the local LOC, has been putting their best foot forward in terms of ensuring that the stadium is at its best, um, in terms of how the infrastructure looks. Um, I'm seeing all the excitement being put in place in terms of the screens that are going up to show all the advertising, all the replay of what you may be. You know, of course, sometimes when you're in the stadium, you sometimes miss what somebody who is at home watching see. But this time, if you come out to the stadium, there are some hell, um, big jumbo tron screens that are there that you can see all the ads that are on the screen and you can see all the replays. You can catch your favorite um, youngsters as they go on. And even before the games, we've been doing this in the branch. We've been letting um, customers who come through the branch put their motivational messages on a board that we have called Share From Here, where you can write a note to the charisma That's team. That's good stuff right there. So we'll look for that Sorry? as well. I said, that's good stuff right there. We'll look for that, man. That's, that's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you go into Thompson Boulevard, if you go to Carmichael, if you go to Cable Beach, you're going to be seeing some of those boards that say chair from here, and you can write some motivational messages. I've been seeing persons going up to write, go team Bahamas. I mean, putting persons who they know their names on the board. And so we're telling persons, if you're a, uh, a Carissa fan and you want to send a message to the team, you can actually go to a Scotiabank um, branch at Thompson, Carmichael, or Cable Beach and write a message to your, t- um, to your favorite athletes or your favorite school there. And even... Even our staff members have been dressing up in the schools of the uniforms of their alma mater to show their appreciation and their excitement to the youngsters who are participating in the Carista game. Oh. And so um, we are excited here at Scotiabank as, as, as staff members. We want our customers to be able to participate through the fast track gate. And we want people attending the event to come find out a bit about our MasterCard, get some free fan gear as they enjoy the experience. And of course, cheer on Team Bahamas. Well, we're looking forward to it. I mean, it's right around the corner, and, and Scotia's getting ready to do big things, so we're looking forward to seeing you guys out there and having an awesome yeah, 50th yeah. Carifta you, experience. Listen, you know my voice, right? So you can hear my voice cheering in the stands from now. Yeah, I want to hear, <laughs> I, I, I hear some, you know, go Bahamas in between, big up Jamaica, for sure. I, I definitely want to hear that. I will definitely be in my Bahamas gear. I, you'll definitely see me in my Scotia Bank Bahamas gear. There you go. Go, go Good go stuff. Bahamas. Well, thanks again for All stopping right, by great. and letting us know everything that's going on with Scotia. And again, hats off to Scotia for being a golden sponsor as well. We couldn't do it without you guys, so we greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much. We've been a big part of youth and development, youth activities and sports, and we are not going to be turning back. So you can count on our support. Thanks so much. And uh, good to talk okay. to you. And, of course, whenever Scotia has another great initiative, you just let us know you have a platform right here on the show. Sure, beautiful. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, you too now. Bye. And speaking of, of Carifta, let's go to the phone lines. And, and speaking of Carifta, I'm going to get to Sheldon Longley in one second, but let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? All right, Taxi, you can call me back. You tell me answer the phone. Please answer the phone. Then when I answer the phone, you hang up. Ah, Lord, your minutes run out. Eh? All right, well, we got my good friend, uh, editor here, sports editor here at The Guardian, uh, Mr. Sheldon Longley. And, and what's going on with Carifta, my brother? It's, it's a couple of days away now. The, well, the, the plot thickens. The time is here, man. There's only two days left now, Thursday and Friday, the opening Boy. ceremony, Friday. And I thank God for this thing around my neck because you can't <laughs> find a ticket in all the land. <laughs> the thing about it, all the modern sessions are free. Right. I, I don't know if a lot of public really know that because, I mean, I got a lot of calls this week asking me what's the price for the morning session. But the morning session, session is free. Morning sessions are free, so just come out and love yourself. Uh, Read, Bahamas! <laughs> you might get find one or two on the western side, on the eastern side for the, for the night session, but the tickets are going super fast. Boy, know, so night sessions could be hot. They could be hot. They could be hot, starting from day one with 100 and 400 meters. You know, that's, you know, day two of the marquee events of Carifta, and that's the first events on the track uh-huh. on day one. So uh, from day one, it's going to be hot. So and we, get, we we got 100 meters as far as the fellas go, man. Because, you know, I, I got to keep an eye out. I got, I got a couple of little fellas, you know. They uh-huh. started off listening to me with Mischief and Mayhem in the AM. <laughs> and there's the little, little, little toddlers. And now I, I see the names on the track, man. And, uh, it's it's going to be blazing, man. We have a, a guy there, uh, Carlos Brown. That, I, that's, yes. that's, that's who I'm referring to. <laughs> I just got to just bring it up. <laughs> He's a team captain, by the way. He's a male team captain, Carlos Brown. There you Brown. go. He qualified first at our, at our nationals. He ran a 10-4-9. What? You know, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, but he ran 10-1-9 early in the season, but it was when needed. 
Right. So it's just barely over. But I, I, I think he, I think he got the goods. So I think you, we, he should have a good collegiate career, and I think we should be hearing that name for years to come. Yes, indeed. All, all he needs is probably a little bit more competition, you know, somebody to push him. And I think yeah. that's, I think that's what, he, what he's going to get this weekend. He's looking forward to running the place in the best time this weekend. Right. I think he could do it. And if he runs faster than a ten four, I think he'll definitely be in the top three. There you go. And so we rooting for him yeah. and, and the entire team bombers. But listen, Sheldon, help me, man. There, there's a video circulating. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> But it's coming out of Jamaica, and they say they send this young lady who's running a a ten, a, a ten six, uh, or a ten five. The the girl are their champs run a ten nine two. Okay, which is just unbelievable for a junior athlete. These <laughs> she's days. She come, know, that, I, 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 some, I she coming though. She 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 is coming. The thing about it, she didn't even win their Jamaican trials. I think she finished second at the Jamaican trials. What? You know, so. Shit, <laughs> so God. Somebody fast somebody fast enough. So somebody fast enough? That, that's got to be some trouble, you that's know. That's scary, man. And uh, the guy at their champs, he ran a 999, the first Jamaican high school fellow to run under 10 seconds. You know, so they bring in a lot of heat, a lot of speed, you know, but I think uh, all our athletes need is a little bit of competition, and that's going to encourage them to go faster. So just lining up against these guys and girls from Jamaica, that's going to encourage them to go faster. So I'm looking forward to what's to go. That, that, so I, yeah. I was hoping that was like like a spoof video of some fake news. <laughs> no, that was real. That was real. <laughs> All right, let's check the phone lines real quick. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Super Nori. Hey, what's happening? Hey, King Nori, all is called. It's Tiger. What's happening? Now, watch this one. I believe, as for us, this time, we can, we can kick Jamaica, you know, I can say the word. Don't say it, because I know where you calling me from right now, and you sound like you four bottles, uh, brown bottles deep, so. No, 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 that's Cuba Libre. Uh, okay, but well, ain't nothing wrong with the Cuba Libre, nothing wrong. You four Cuba well, Libre well, deep. You would sound like you are too collecky. No, 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 I'm, I'm not on that. Well, <laughs> well, right, right, hey, but I say relate to the sports, right? It's good. Now, like, uh, they, they fix up the sports center. I want to congratulate the PLP government. They do a good job. Put on the flags. Around, you know, so they can recognize who we are. You yeah. saw it? I, I, I've seen it. It looks nice, man. And I, I'm waiting to see the whole thing un, un, unveiled and unfurled. Well, you, you, you waiting to see it. You yeah, because I, I, as you, as you, well, you know, we, we going to have, you know, crew from the Guardian going to be here. I know my crew from Kenya is going to be there. Be, well, well, listen, man. That'd be I, good. Hey, I, I, I also like to go to sports events and get like you. You know, I like to go around. I even like to find the concession stands and the libations and so on and so forth. I, I like to tailgate too. So I, I don't know how straight my pictures will be. You know what I mean? But it's my yeah. But it's my heart and my hope. Me being a Christian nation, as the prime minister to represent us delicately, I should say, nicely around the world, even to the to the um, what you call it. Um, the photo ops. Doing new energy, the, con- the right. conference and... And the carbon Dubai. credits and all of that, correct. Yeah, but then that's good. Now, man, so I expect the athletes to represent us good. And I hope they do that for you too, my brother. All right? Always a pleasure to hear from you. Let's uh, <laughs> get to the last call and we'll get back to Sheldon. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Naughty. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Yankee? Come on. Yeah, um... I say go Bahamas. I I have my tickets for every single day. There you go. I'll be there during the morning session. Uh, I'll take a considerable amount of time. I'm not doing anything for nobody. Someone called me say, you want to wake? I said, no, my brother. Maybe I can think about it after Tuesday. Right now, it's all about go Bahamas. You in Caribbean Bahamas, Bahamas, Bahamas? Go. You in the zone? Yeah, we must, we must get it done, my brother. I'm gonna be there. And we're going to be cheering for our, all the athletes, but we, I want the Bahamas to win this one. We're 39 years behind. Yeah, man. 39 years ago, we won Carifta. We got uh, we back in on 40 years. You know, that's a, more than a generation. Right. We've got to win this one. And make this sure. It's important. Make sure I hear me, man, at one of them morning sessions when you see me hear me, man. Yeah, man, we can, we can, trust me, we can link up, Naughty. All right, it's my all brother. all about the Bahamas right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drink one for the late, great Yankee, Frankie the Yankee, man. Oh, yeah, and you know, we came out the gate winning the fight with, 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 with our, our ace gone and pitch a jam, man. You see that, eh? So, so, you know, we go, we all out. Be ready to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll see you at Carifta, my brother. Okay, take care. You too. Hey, what but, do you want again today? Yeah, and I'm yeah. telling you, the, the, yeah. the, the, they're in a fever pitch, though, though Shannon. I like to yeah. see the Bahamas. Is one yeah. thing we could unify for 
It's correct the boy. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, I, and I, I, I need everybody to represent because I think that's going to give us an edge. That's going to give the athletes a little, little, little extra. Well, this is the 50th year. So, it's important, right. important that we have a good show in this year. You know, like the caller said, you know, our last time we won was 1984 when Paul Davis is on that team. And we, be, and we won that by one medal that year. Right. So, so maybe something special is in store. You right. know, I like, I like the team. It's the biggest team we've ever assembled for Carifto. A lot of talent on the team. It's going to, hard, it's going to be hard to beat Jamaica, but now, uh, I, I see some special performances happening. I got a text to come in and Naughty asked Sheldon how many go for Team Bahamas. Well, you're putting pressure put me on, on the squad. You're putting yeah, me on the squad. <laughs> but I mean, uh, we got old boys from Auburn. From Auburn? Or, or from, uh, no, no, he's too old. He's too old. But, too old. but the under 17 girls traveling, I, I think we could get a goal, a goal and silver in the under 17 girls traveling. Uh -huh. We have the Crypto Chopping from last year. She's on the team. Okay. Uh, she's also the Crypto Record holder from last year. All right. And the thing about it, she came second at our trials, at our Crypto trials. You know, so Keyshawn's sister, the one who okay. goes to school, right. she beat her. Wow. So that, 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 that's, a, that's a family of javelin throws. That's a family of, of javelin throws. You can imagine dating a woman who could throw a javelin. If you really piss her off, she could actually catch you from down no, there. I don't put that in my head right now, my naughty man. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a comedian. Or, you know, some of them in a throw shoot, she'll throw a javelin. That's dangerous. Boy, you got to run. You better, you better go run. What well, else is weird? You can't lose. You don't have to go run. You got to throw and spill his ass. No, sir. <laughs> You know, but she's going to be very good. Her name is Kamara Strong. Okay. And she beat DRA at the Crypto Trials. So, you know, a lot of people expect him to go one and two. I'm expecting him to go one and two. How, how many athletes do we have again? 81? 80 athletes. 80 and, and Jamaica's sending 79? Jamaica's but... sending a full team. They're sending 80 as well. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> so they come, in, they come in full stretch. You know, so it's, it's going to be very good. But obviously, we must have something special with Dean Bombers because if Jamaica can send a whole whopping 79, obviously, they might feel just a little bit threatened. You know, well, like, see, like for the dominance in the region, they might want to just remind people, hey. I well, see the thing, but if Jamaica, they are so good across the board. Every discipline, they are winning but, medals but, in. But the thing about it is, one thing I, I admire about the Jamaican program, they restock from an early age. They do. They, they do. They, they, they do. Unfortunately, we, we would let all our 400 meter runners, you know, distance out or retire, and then say, oh, you know we need to replenish that. Yeah, you know what Jamaica does? They they, 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 they play would, in they third grade. They, they would look at the weakest part. Uh huh. They look at the weakest part of their program. Next year they come in strong in that area. Good. I remember 2012 in Bermuda. You know, Jamaican coaches actually Bahamas beat us in the sprints. They beat us in the sprints because we, we actually did beat them in the sprints. We had more gold medals in the sprints right. than them that year. The next year, they came and they swept everything in the sprints. Couldn't see so, nothing in the sprint. Couldn't see nothing. But I, I think the job of recruiting, they, did, they, they watch every track meet in every mm -hmm. parish in Jamaica. And they, they get kids from the third grade, fourth mm -hmm. grade, second grade. You see these kids running on video, and next thing you know, there they are in the program. They do. They, they have a very, very good junior program. They put a lot into their junior program. And, and, they, know, and they know how to make crafty decisions because who would have thought Usain was an 800 400 guy and look, look where he ended up he started off as a 400 guy yeah and look know, where he ended, and up. ended up in the sprints and he was and traditionally tall dudes like him weren't supposed to run the hunting mm -hmm. but he broke oh, he killed that mess <laughs> he, he completely he smashed completely, that completely, pieces. completely you know if I remember correctly you know he just told his coach I want to try to run, try the 100 meters and his coach was like okay if you can run under 10 seconds I'll say I'll let you do it and he ran a 991 <laughs> and, and ever, then ever since then that was it he was strictly a 100 and 200 and meter that, guy. And that was raw. That was raw. That wasn't even that was coaches raw. refining them or whatever. And, and he broke the world record that same year. <laughs> and that was it. That was a wrap. Now, we, we talked about Brown as far as, our, you know, <clears> one <throat> of our top sprinters on, on the male side. What about on the female side? On the female side, we have some very good sprinters. Our under-20 division, our Shatalia Dorset. She won a silver medal last year in the under-17 division. She's running under-20 this year. She's going to be joined by uh, Amari Pratt in the 100 and 200 meters. We also have some girls coming from college. LaCarthia Cooper, she's the female team captain. She's going to be running the 400 meters and the 200 meters. Javonia Walcott is going to join her in the 400 meters. I expect some good things from them. Our, our jumps, I think, are going to be pretty good with Anisha Lubin and uh, April Adley. Uh, the throws are going to be good. Uh, the throws across the board are going to be good. In every division, I think our throws are going to be good. Uh, under 20, we're looking at Kalia Jackson and uh, the rest of those girls there. Under 17, we're looking at Terrell McCoy, the rest of those girls there. I, I think... All of our throws are going to be good. A short put, javelin, and discus. Uh, but I'm specifically looking forward to the under 17 girls javelin. I wish I could have been to the final session of Carifto, but it's going to be Monday morning. But uh, I think that event, the Bahamas is going to win gold and silver. Yeah, so you've got a couple of events, the javelin and, and, and a couple of other events that you think we could win too. Yes, indeed. Well, I, well I'm not going to go and uh, predict a medal count or how many goals I think we could get. But uh, I remember in 2012... And I said, this is the best craft team I've seen in a long time. And that team went on to win 15 gold medals. And that's the most we've ever won since 1984. 
I think this team has the ability to match that. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I think that um, we have to, to look at keeping this team together, though, because they're so young. you got 81, 80 members this young. And more than 40 are first-time athletes, first-time grifter athletes. So you can get at least two grifters out of them. You can, you can. If you do it right, and, 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 and you're... I'm telling you, we got a lot of potential. More than two, because even in the under seventeen division, you have some right. of them are still just fourteen. Because of the age, old, you know. So, so let's check the phone lines again real quick. Talking ads, Guardian Radio, ninety six point nine FM. Who's this? Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Right here. Listen here. Let me tell you, our athletes this year they're going to rise to the occasion. I have a feeling they're going to rise to the occasion. And one race I ain't going to miss with Chris in the 5,000. I'm, I'm not going to miss that. And I think he should take that. Christopher Sinkless. Pardon me? Christopher Sinkless, eh? That's yeah. under 20 boys, 5,000 meters. Yes, I think, he's, I, I think he's going to take that. Once he follow Musa, uh, his instruction, and, and he followed that to the T, he, he'll be able to take that. And I can't wait. You hear, oh, them yaddies. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for that just to hear, you know. And so, like I said, I just i am praying that, like I said, that they will rise to the occasion. It might be some big upset. And the thing it is, what makes Jamaica so good, too, one time ago, the distant running, they never should be there. But now... Like you said, they have two and three athletes in each of each event now. Each event, yeah. Especially those, you know, from the 400, the 800, the 1500, the 3000, the 5000. They have athletes still right out with them. Thanks me home now, and we got our athletes still out. I think it's going, it, it's going to be some fireworks. Well, it better be the right fireworks. We need to see oh. them, them, them Bahamian fireworks. I want to see yeah. us win it up. <laughs> All right, then. Good. I got greedy on this one, man. But yeah, and guess what? I, I want to make sure I can put it out there again. You want to see a vegan concession stand out there, correct? Yes, definitely. All right. If, if, if I come, I'm, I'm going to be there every session. And like I said, dang, allow me to bring no food inside. That's cool, man. I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, you check out, uh, you, you look out there, you will definitely see. Something that will suit you, man. I'll make sure of that, all right? Okay. All right, great. Thanks. All right, there you go. All right, good. All right, so, Sheldon, a couple of other things uh, before we, uh, you know, get to the break. I mean, you say we got a lot of athletes potential to, to one and two, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. But the, the big thing about it is, to me, is keeping this program going. Yes, we have to. We have to. Because there's no point to get together and get 80 to go this time, and then next year after now, we got, we got, we can't get, get 80. Yeah, right? we have to bring up some of the events that are lagging behind. Our distance program is lagging behind right now. You know, the sprints are pretty good. The field events are, are getting back to where they, they used to be. The throws are good on the according to make up. The throws that they're doing an exceptional job. But uh, the distance program is falling off. And if we could start winning medals in the distance events, like how we do in the sprints and the throws, you know, we could give Jamaica some competition. And then we also need other countries to step up as well and take some of that gold away from Jamaica. You know, we can't have them winning 40 plus and then everybody else battling to get 5 to 10. Right. You know, so so we need some other countries. So we need, we need we need some other you know we need some Bermudas, yeah, and Trinidad, and Trinidad, Barbados, and Barbados, Barbados, all of them. We need them to step up. Put a thing here and there, not too much, but just where you need to. Yeah, just take some of the gold medal away from Jamaica and let us do the rest. And we can take care of the rest. Yeah, we'll yeah. balance it off. There you go. Well, Sheldon, I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to your coverage because this is your thing, man. You always do an awesome job when you're down yes, there or in it. the region. Appreciate so it. So now you're home. You know what I mean? And <laughs> you, you got home for your advantage. Yes, indeed. So yeah. like, I say, like I said before, one event to look out for, under 17 is traveling. I think we're going to come first and second in that. Under 17, boys, high jump as well. We had six qualifiers for Carifta. In that's that. right. I think that's going to be an amazing event. And also the sprints. We're going to be getting the sprints. All right. Well, we keep an eye on it. And remember, the, the day portion is free. Yes. You still got some limited seats for the night portion, but they're pretty much gone. But get out there. If you can't get to the, to, to the stadium, get there in front of the TV and support Team Bahamas. The energy is needed. And we need to push this team over and we need to keep this team together. So yes. looking forward to the coverage and looking forward to having an awesome experience at Carifta. Yes, and opening ceremony is also free. Friday at 4 o'clock. Right. The and com- they got the pep rally and whatnot as well too, right? No, they have a, we have a Let's Run Bahamas, f- Let's let's Move Bahamas Fun Run Walk on Easter Monday morning. Okay. Starting at 6 o'clock. That's a free event as well. So come out and support that event as well. So and it's all over the Easter weekend, so no better yes. way to take in the Easter weekend after you do your church thing and your hot cross bun and, and, and fish. Come on, enjoy some dragon fear. That's nothing like it. Yes, all right, right, we'll get to the break. Flip side of the break. Earl the Pearl will be zooming in. We'll be talking sports. 
We got to talk uh, NBA. We got to talk Major League Baseball. More importantly, we got to talk some NFL, some moving and shaking going on. I hear some potential draft day trades may be coming up. What you Dolphins saying? You like a stand pot? I, li- I, like it. I like where we are. Mm-hmm. We've been making some moves for the second year in a row. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't for two and three last year, I tell you we would have been there. Yeah, we would have beat Buffalo last year. I can't more. shake Igbehini, though. I want Igbehini to do something <laughs> for y'all, boy. Igbehini. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of it. We can't get rid well, of it. He's an anchor. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> we stuck with him for a couple more years. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, we'll get to the break. Flip side of the break. We'll pick it up as the Wednesday, April 5th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Original or hot and spicy? Feeling original? Think twice. Here's some precise advice. Always add the spice. (laughs) Hey, that's great. Take your time, brother. I don't want you to run too far out with your spicy self. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mouth hot, but you still ain't got the right flavor. Listen, just like the colonel, I'm an original. You? There's a spicy come lately. You think so? Original. You could never. There's no winning flavor. They're all finger-licking good. Only at KFC Nassau. Tired of paying too many bills and loan payments each month? Shrink your monthly debt payments down to one easy payment with our debt consolidation loan. It also has a built-in savings that pays you 5% interest. Inquire about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Carifta Tickets, the 50th Carifta Games, is coming April 7th to April 10th. Tickets are on sale now online at carifta50.com or at the Thomas A. Robertson National Stadium, Western Grand Entrance. For more details, email tickets at carifta50.com or call 605-4051. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and they set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there are no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of family. I'm going on with my life. That's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Talking Heads, the Wednesday, April 5th edition continues right now. We got Pearly? All right, I got, I got to hit Pearly because I know Pearly was waiting to chime in after the interview. And uh, like I said, uh, again, busy, busy uh, Wednesday on the Open Line edition. Is, is that a phone call we got there, Mr. Producer? Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Talking Heads. Call me back then. <laughs> All right. So um, I got that uh, Pearly zoom in, and when Pearly chimes in, we'll pick it up with Pearly. But a um, couple of things to talk about when you look at it uh, from uh, the NBA. Well, let me check Major League Baseball, as a matter of fact. All right, get some scores from today. All right, uh, the Brewers had a walk off against the Mets. They ended up winning. Um, the uh, Yankees took care of the uh, Phillies, 4-2. Just check the box score on that. The winner was uh, Garrett Cole. He's now 2-0. and Say went to Holmes. That's his first. Let me check the box score. Let's see who did what at the plate. You had uh, LeMahieu had a, a hit and a run score. Glebner Torres, baby. Four at bats, three hits, two RBI. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. 
And Trevino doing his thing, too. I like it. The Yankees doing their thing, man. Can't be mad at my Yankees. All right. Uh, the Marlins took care of the Minnesota Twins, 5-2. to two. Let's check out the box score and see what Jazz did, if Jazz played today. He had uh, one at bat. He had one hit. And then um, he might have exited the game. I got to double check. Because he didn't have any base on balls. So he might have got injured. He might have got pulled. So let, let's see what's going on there. But uh, the Marlins win nonetheless 5-2. to two. Game's on top for later. You got uh, the Royals and the Blue Jays. They'll be doing that thing. Let me check the rest of the Major League schedule for tonight. Because you know, you could always parlay something <laughs> if it died in game. All right, you got uh, Cleveland 4 to nothing over Oakland in the 8th. Angels up 2-1 to one over the uh, Mariners in the 5th. Toronto and Kansas City at 740. And uh, earlier finals today, Tampa Bay took care of Washington 7-2. Yankees took care of the Phillies 4-2. Marlins took care of the Twins 5-2. Braves knocked off St. Louis 5-2. Pittsburgh took care of Boston 4-1. Mets lost in a walk-off to the, to the Brewers, who are now 5-1, 7-6. Texas took care of Baltimore 5-2. Detroit uh, loses to Houston 8-2, and the White Sox knocked off uh, the Giants 7-3 and postponed. You had Cincinnati and Chicago postponed due to weather. And on tap tonight, you got uh, a couple of games for you. You got, uh, and the Dodgers took care of Colorado 5-2 as well. That's probably what Purdy was watching. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's all for today, April 4th. All right, those are all the games today. And April 5th, I mean, April 5th, all right? So you got uh, pretty much everybody in there. Got uh, the Royals and the Blue Jays later on. And you got uh, the Cubs, like I said, and the A's in live action. And the A's, and the Angels and the Mariners in live action right now. Everybody else is gone final. Let's back to the phone lines. Is this a call or just the same uh, mystery caller? Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yeah, this is about he calling about. What's going on, Spaghetti? You know the Caribbean thing. Again, you must you must get to Jamaica now because well, first of all, we got the, we got the thing that we call the numbers. You still got you still got a, a group of people, islands in the Bahamas, spread out over water and all that kind of thing. We don't have no one land mass. We only got four hundred something thousand people now. Jamaica, you know, they reign in the three three million people. Plus Jamaica, the one land mass. They are a very hilly dog on place, and and not even hurt. Some of them children walk down nine miles mountain to go to school and walk back up there to go back home. Them people are strong and they eat all them cassava and things. But suffering to be so, you got places like India's go to Olympics and they got millions of people, one of the biggest um, societies in the world, and they don't bring back no medal. None. At least, at least we bring back some medals when you go to the Olympics. You know, in, I see India going there, must have but two fly car, one fly carrier and one person. Eh? I tell you. I see nations with millions of people going to the Olympics, one athlete and one fly carrier. <laughs> we got a whole contingent of coaches and, and athletes and everything and bringing back medals. So, but you know, Jamaica, Jamaica is a hard, hard, hard island to beat. You know, we, we, we get surprised. I believe we can do our best. We can, we can pull out some stumps and some surprises. And a couple of our young people could get some scholarships to go off to, to, to college and stuff like that. But, you know, you got to get to Jamaica. Them people, they strong, they fast, and they, they hard to beat. Have a good day. And they well-trained and well-fed like you Oh, you know, hey, man. Look, at uh, athletics is one of the main ways of getting off the island to further their lifestyle and their education. That, that, the, being a good athlete in the Jamaica is between being poor and being a millionaire. But, Sparky, you done set it up. They say naughty tell Sparky people in India need to eat conch. <laughs> they need to eat steak yeah, if you ask me. Guess what? Don't send them here to get the conch. Cause so much people in India, you know, India is the, it was the second most populated um, nation in the world. Next to China. Correct, correct. If they come here, you know what will happen to our conch supply? No, 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 no. We, got, we, have, we have enough problems trying to feed the Dominican Republic. Go on on that one, Sparky. Go on <laughs> on that one. Go on on that one. <laughs> Who on the boat? Some Dominicans is beyond Sparky. My God. Anyway, I digress. We got Rich Eisen taking us home today on the final 10 as well. And don't forget, all boils down to uh, 
the Lakers could be without LeBron and AD tonight. Both of them with load management, possibly uh, rest and injuries. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Dalvin Ham, head coach of the Lakers, said he would not shut down AD on back-to-back uh, nights anymore. He's going to ride it out the rest of the way. But if you look at it, they got stretched to overtime last night. And again, they should have won. Up by 10, 154 left. You should have won that game. Now, the Bron Sexual was going to say, hey, LeBron at 35 and all that. Yeah, he had some plays. He had his moments. They went, they went away from AD, if you ask me. He was the hot man in the first half. Should have got the rock more in the second half. Austin Reeves is getting no respect whatsoever. He's like Rodney Dangerfield. He's pumping in 28 and playing defense. LeBron didn't play no defense last night, y'all. Five turnovers as well. So if you're going to talk the good, you got to talk the bad and the ugly. There's no way that Laker team should have gone overtime with the Jazz yesterday. We'll take the win. Don't get me wrong. They should have never gone overtime with the Jazz. Lakers sit in the seventh spot, 41 and 38. Clippers are 41 and 38. Big matchup tonight. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, they got the Clippers today, 10 p.m. Then the Suns and then the Jazz to wrap it up. But right now they sit in the seventh spot. And if they get it done, who knows? Could end up in the fifth. We'll see. Naughty, I can't believe the Lakers are in the playoffs. Believe it. The Western Conference sucks. <laughs> so it ain't that hard. But I digress. Remember, like I said, Rich Eisen taking us home with the final uh, 10 today. And discussing this big Laker-Clipper matchup going down tonight and the playoff ramifications. Let's get to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Naughty, what's crack-a-lockin', man? What's poppin', bro? See, you ain't, you ain't recognize this. No, I, 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 know, I, know, I know who this is, but I'm just surprised you have the unmitigated audacity to call out to go in MIA after all that cut skin the Dolphins took. And finished with a lesser record than my Dallas Cowboys, and then you just went MIA. No, man, you. I was trying to get in. I was trying to get in a couple times, but you, you, when you were signing off, you used to put on that show. You used to put yeah, on that I, show. I put on Rich Eisen because Rich, you know, Rich got some good takes. Like today, Rich got some he, good takes on 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 the Lakers and the Clippers. Who gonna get that fifth or sixth spot? No, no, Clippers getting that man. Lakers gonna get that. Clippers getting that. What about your Miami Heat, man? What they saying for themselves? We, we, we can be all right. We can be all right. I know why we're going to pick up Big Dead Kevin Love, but we can be all right. Man, listen, y'all, y'all got some work to do, though, bro. I mean, I know we do. We, we, y'all I, y'all I, is as impressive as I thought y'all were going to be this season. Bro. No, because because the fella ain't doing nothing in the off season. I mean, you know, y'all like neck and neck with the Lakers. And then he going to let, Pete, let Tucker go? Come on, man. 41 and 38, and y'all 42 and 37. I mean, my God. Yeah, for real. Don't right. let Tucker go. I don't like that Tucker, Tucker ball in, but. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, you're in sports for weren't getting along. Yeah, but you know, you know, um, the Dolphins, the Dolphins, they can be balling next season. I mean, that, listen, you, you see that defense? I like the defense, and I think Faggio's a good pickup for them. Yes. I'm, I'm not, let me ask you a question. I, I heard someone said today, I, I, I didn't check it. Tom Brady really came back? Came back where? That was a late April Foolie. Google it, man. Tom no. Brady Tom Brady signed a $24 million one-year deal with the New England Patriots. Nope. Yes. No, he didn't. I don't know in what metroverse you wishing that for. $24 million one-year deal with the New England Patriots. Well, I, I, I don't see. I don't see, any, I don't see anything official. I don't see anything official. I told the fella this morning I didn't see it, and I had to do my research, and I check it, and it is true. And which source provided that? Huh? And which source provided that? Because I see I nothing. Get, I got. I got it off YouTube. Yeah, you can't believe everything you see on YouTube, man. Come no, on now. No, no, but he signed it. Yes, he he spoke also. Well, listen, man, I don't see it on Twitter. I don't see it anywhere reliable. I don't see it with Sports Illustrated. So, 
I told that fool the same thing, and I was a fool gone searching to find that on YouTube. He tell me go on YouTube. Yeah, well, you still a fool because you believe that fake news because on YouTube. Because I didn't even I didn't even find it on Google. Yeah, no, um, nada. I, I see nothing. I understand that he had uh, 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 he did, but th- this listen this news when I looked at it. It was a three days ago. That's where I got the source from, right? After he told me to search it. And I did. I did the one year ago thing. That was um, when, he re- uh, uh, when he retired and, and then came back and went to Tampa Bay. And then I did it again. I saw it three days ago that after leaving Tampa Bay and retiring, Tom Brady signed with the New, with the New England Patriots for one year for $24 million. No, That's what I saw. That, that ain't nowhere, nowhere around there, man. That's fake news. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's fake news. Go awesome. back and tell your source that they, they fooled. They, they, they fake news. But I would have liked to see him come back to get now, break right up. Break right up. By the Dolphins, eh? In that division, going against Aaron Rodgers in that division, and, um, um, and Josh Allen, yeah, break right up. Trust me. <laughs> and the Dolphins. I hear you. I hear you. But good to hear from you, man. Don't be a stranger, all right? All right, Naughty. Take care of yourself. All right, you too, brother. All right, we got uh, one more break to go. Before we get to the break, let me check some text. <laughs> You're all killing me today, boy. I swear. Naughty, tell your caller, man, you know, if the news sounds ridiculous, why repeat it? What is he on? Boy, I don't know. I mean, I, I know Mr. Darwin, man. He probably did his research to our YouTube report. You know, you got a lot of erroneous stuff floating on YouTube, though. Always got to fact check some of these sports people, man. They put stuff out for clicks and likes, you know? Get to a, a valid source. Get, get to like a, a verified, certified dolphin blogger who's on YouTube or, has, or, or a part of a, one of the major channels on YouTube that actually contribute and is legit. And you'll see that um, you get all the inside information on your team and you can instantly call fake news out when you see it. But it's not just with the dolphins. It's rampant everywhere. Check all, all local WhatsApp groups. More fake news in... in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he must have got it from Fox News. Probably he got it off Fox. It was a Fox report, probably. And Fox will tell you, we just make it up. <laughs> All right, so uh, big game tonight. Lakers and the Clippers. Playoff ramifications. All right? In, in, the, uh, in the balance. So we'll see how it all plays out. Hopefully we'll get a, a full supporting cast from the Lakers. Hopefully D'Angelo Russell makes a return tonight. Didn't play last night due to injury. So we'll see. And we got to keep, uh, keep an eye on it. Got to keep an eye on it. Um, because, like I say, the ramifications is, is a log jam between... Golden State, the Clippers, and the Lakers. And any one of the, those three could end up in the fifth, sixth, or seventh spot between these last couple of games we have to play. So we'll see what goes on. We'll even see if, if Phoenix rests some starters, considering they can't, you know, fall no lower than fourth, and they can't get no higher than fourth. So we'll see. All right? But uh, all of that has to uh, pan out. So we'll get to that tomorrow. I'm talking ads because we'll know the results tonight. We'll take a quick break now. And on the final 10 going home, you got Rich Eisen discussing that big Laker Clipper matchup and the playoff ramifications thereof. All right, all coming up after the break. Keep it right where you got it. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Talking Heads. Be good, Bahamas. And if you can't be good, be good at it.
accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carry small home appliances. So come on in today at John's, where we put fashion at your feet. Hazelnut meets mocha with the new Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha Signature Latte. Savor the delicious coffee combination of smooth, rich espresso with silky chocolate and toasted hazelnut flavors. All topped with whipped cream, decadent mocha drizzle, and hot chocolate powder. Available hot or iced, the Dunkin' Mocha Latte is the perfect pick-me-up at any time of day. So why wait? Head to your favorite Dunkin' and enjoy the Dunkin' Hazelnut Mocha taste sensation today. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. People, what you thinking? We want something different. Uh -huh. People, what you wanting? We want local government. I can tell them no more slunking. We want to see it function. I can tell them no more joke. <laughs> I forgot. Going down Blue Hill Road. Going down Village Road. Going down Nassau Road. We want local government. We want local government. This is right. We want local government. Shut up. We want local government. We are called for local government. Sign the petition and find out more information at risebahamas.net. Play with Island Games. We making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Because Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dream come true. We play it with Island Games. Every Thursday until April 6th, between 5 and 6 p.m., is Come Gold With Us Thursdays. Follow us and like our Facebook page, 50th Carifta 2023. Then keep a lookout for our team and get a chance to win a golden ticket and many, many more giveaways for the 50th Carifta Games 2023. For more details, email info at carifta50.com or call 808-GOLD. On your mark, set... Go for gold. It's your chance to cheer from here, Bahamas. Scotiabank is the regional banking partner for the 2023 Carifta Games. We invite everyone to come watch our young athletes perform at their best. Every Scotiabank MasterCard credit card holder gets fast track into the stadium. Just show your card with your ticket at the Southern Gate. Plus, check us in the Cultural Village at the Scotiabank Kiosk where you can win amazing prizes. Scotiabank, proud sponsor of the 2023 Oak Tree Medical Center Carifta Games. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. I'd love to see the Lakers not play in. I'd love to see that. And we may see that. I'll go back to, you know, what Darvin Ham had to say about a month ago. Six seed, we got it. And uh, that was a tall order. As we're sitting here right now, tonight's Lakers-Clippers game is for the sixth seed. And, you know, let's go. I can't wait to sit down and watch that game tonight. In the downtown Hoops Dojo, Clippers have won 10 in a row. And here come the Lakers. They could play out of the play-in tonight. 10 in a row against the Lakers, right? Correct. And not one of those 10 wins are going to mean anything. I know that. If we lose this game tonight, I'm going to tell you that right I know. now. I'm big on that 10 and 0. I've been doing this count for years. But if we lose this game no, tonight, no. all that other, can someone bleep me, don't mean, hey, it just doesn't mean anything. Are you anything. going? Are you going tonight? I don't know. I've been downtown too much this week. I think I just want to stay home. And, and well, I don't know. I could wind up going. Who knows? You know, I might have to. Because uh, it's, it's going to be, even though it's a Clipper home game, can I these say purple and gold Clowns are going to come and take over the whole arena. So. And I'll just say this, too. And I'll come support you. All, <laughs> all the sit-down, back-to-backs, not playing Paul George, not playing Kawhi, just, like, just forking up win opportunities. Whatever. We'll take a 30-point L tonight Here on the road because we're sitting our two stars because this is what 
the load management has to say. We're saving him for the playoffs. Oh, okay. Where's Paul George right now? Uh, oh, he's, hurt. Hurt. Yeah. he's hurt. He's okay. hurt. He's hurt. But he didn't get hurt because he played on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. He just got hurt and within the, the general scheme of things. Hey, man, I'm just going to say this. All of those, we don't care. We'll, we'll, we'll try and win with our, our bench players tonight on the road. All those times we saw it in November and December and January and February. And finally trying to play one of these guys on a back-to-back -back night. Coming home to roost. Now you got to win an 11th row in a row against the Lakers team that as we had yesterday with Brian Windhorst pointing out they're not a 500 team that's just barely above average. What do you say? 14 and 7 since the trade of so. Russell Westbrook? 14 and 7. Now they're 15 and 7. That's the team that's taking the floor tonight. LeBron looking spry again. And as I pointed out to Brian West, uh, Brian uh, Windhorst yesterday, have they finally turned the corner on a roster that was supposedly unworkable for LeBron and trying to win? Have they turned that corner? Have they made the appropriate changes? And he wouldn't go as far as they turned the corner. He said, well, they're right in the middle, and they're right in the middle of a Western Conference standings where – you know, seven games above 500 would give you a home playoff spot in the first round. And now they're eight games above 500 since making that switch with Russell going and getting the flexibility and bringing in the rest of these guys, D'Angelo Russell and Malik Beasley. Jared Vanderbilt putting them all around LeBron and seeing how it goes. And I'll tell you what, tonight's game is huge. And I know the Warriors won again last night, and Andrew Wiggins says he should be back shortly. I'd want to be sixth. That's where I want to be. And I know I'm, I'm asking to take on the Kings and this young Turk team up there in Sacramento. I mean, nobody has any faith in them. I get it. Who would you rather play? The Sacramento? This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nashville, Bahamas.